How do we manifest based on neuroscience? How would neuroscience suggest we do that? Yeah. So I have a three-step process. I love bro- I love, I love them. <laughs> I love them too. I know you do. I yeah, know you have a three-step I, I, lo- I love me some steps and yeah. making it simple. Um, that goes back to my scientist days. So when it comes to manifesting, it really is the same thing for anything that you want. So the first step is to be is to identify the feelings. Identify the feelings that you believe the thing that you want is going to bring you. I always say, you don't want the thing that you want. You want the feeling that you believe the thing that you want is going to bring you. So for example, if you are wanting a relationship, then you might, the feeling you might be after is to be loved and feel safe and supported. Um, If you're wanting a whole bunch of money, it might be freedom. Uh, It might be security, again, safety and security and freedom, whatever it is, right? So those are a few examples, but whatever it is that you want, write down whatever it is that you want, and then write down the feelings that you believe those things that you want are going to bring you. It's super important to identify the feelings. And I get a lot of questions from people like, what if I don't know what I want? Uh, If you don't know what you want, um, that's fine. You can still write down the feelings that you want. Because I think a lot of times, maybe we don't know. And I think a lot of times also, we think we know what we want, uh, (laughs) but we don't really know what we want. uh, But it really is the feeling that we're after. And so identify the feelings. That's the first step. Identify the feelings and write them down. 